Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the application was unable to start correctly error you are experiencing on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. So we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one, but we're going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial. And I'm going to have a URL in the description of the video to a Microsoft web page. You can alternatively search for Net Framework as well in the Google search field. And navigate over to the Microsoft domain here. So we're going to go ahead and download the most recently published version of Net Framework over here. So we're going to select the first option for Run Apps, so download Net Framework Runtime. Go ahead and select that. Give it a moment to begin the download process. Go ahead and just open that up one time to actually begin installing the file. Select yes. So if NetFramework is not already installed on your computer, it will go through the installation process. So I would suggest following along with that on-screen direction. So I'm going to click on close. There's going to be another link also in the description video for DirectX. So another Microsoft download here. So we're just going to open that up here. So DirectX end user runtime web installer. You want to select the orange button that says download in the middle. So go ahead and left click on that. Should begin the download process. It's not very big. So once it's downloaded to your computer, just go ahead and left click on it one time to run the file. Select yes if you have a user account control prompt. Welcome to setup for DirectX. Once you've agreed to the end user license terms, you want to accept the agreement and then select next. If you want to install the Bing bar as well, you can keep that checked. Otherwise, it's optional, so I'm going to actually uncheck that and then select next. This should take a moment, so just please be patient. And then select next again. And once it's done, it should say the components installed are now ready for use. Go ahead and left click on finish. So at this point I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that was able to resolve the problem. If you're still having a problem, you can try opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now into this command prompt you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will begin a system scan. It will take some time. Please be patient.
Okay, so I might have been able to find some crop files. I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.